Hey everybody, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to Knock Knock. Previously, when we left off, the Lodger's sanity was ever so dwindling, and a giant monster now looms over the horizon. Sprite no longer spins around the eye. Alright. From this point on. From this point on, it's all in. That sanity it bleeds, it's the game over. Okay. That's hot. Where's that coming from? Up there? I hear a witch around here. Don't start on that witch. Hello? And where is it buried? Somewhere close by. When I came home, there was only dirt on the bed. And also leaves, arranged in a peculiar way. I think that was pretty important to the um, storyline. I don't see the monster. That's weird. You think he'd be around in this area, but apparently not. I need to get as much of this place revealed as I can. Secure the place. Get a corner of the house going. Get a foundation to work with. that bed. Use that too. Alright, we gotta shut that down. I'm not gonna let anything spawn up here. <laughs> now when something you hear something knocking, that means something has just spawned. But since we shut that thing out almost instantly, um, probably didn't get a chance. Another second or two and it probably would have spawned up there. Gotta keep my sanity. Come on, bed. Hurry up and spawn. We need a place to hide. Good. Uh-oh. That one is far away, in a very bad area. Uh-oh. This is about to get nasty. It's about to get very nasty. Are you sick? I can hear you. It's here. Mm. 
gotta be up there. Yep. Oop. Yeah, screw the bed. That that part of the house is a lost cause. Let's see if we can reclaim this part of the house. Oh, uh oh. This is not very good. What is left for him? Don't do this. Lights are out. It's like you can't see anything coming. You can only see the ghosts if the lights are out. The doors are open and the lights are out. You can kind of look in the room. This whole place is infected. Complete death trap down there. I might just have to forsake it pretty much. Mm. Let's turn off the lights up here. Come back home. Yeah, I can see him out there. I guess we'll just wait it out. There's no way I'm gonna be able to remake the rest of this house. Can't be helped. <laughs> the morning sun vanquishes the night. Let's play A Home on the Edge now. Set the table as if for a memorial. For each place, lay out sheets of paper instead of dishes. Close your eyes and draw circles on each piece of paper. Repeat in your mind in different voices, round and round, while imagining how large the circles are. Sooner or later, you will hear a voice as if someone said it in your own head. Square. Or, no, not round. Then walk out of the room and close the door behind you. Yeah, he doesn't spin around anymore. I'm trying to figure out if those other symbols count. Are they more play sequences? Because I can't really tell what a fish and an X being as far as gameplay mechanics. Oh, it's the girl. Oh god, she's even more creepier than the monster. I oh, well, I think it's a girl. It could be anything, really. I'm not really sure you can apply an agenda to it. I think that was the problem previous guest had. No notes? Sandy bar is still looking pretty good. That's so odd. Just the way it moves out there. I mean, a monster is very predictable. It's like bashing skull teeth thing. But that thing, no, you have no idea how to react to that. I mean, if you saw it in real life anyway. Well, imaginary life.
Oh, you know, actually, I've just noticed. I think the time started a little bit later in my time bar there. I need to look back at my old recordings to see if that's just something I'm maybe noticing now. Maybe it's been shifting a little bit every time. And when it gets full, maybe that's the end of the game. Or it could just be I'm on my mind and I'm just seeing things. Alright. I think we have everything here. Let's fast forward and let's see what's out there. I've been debating in my mind if the house is real. Well, I think there is a house of some sort. Or something he's in. It could just be a building. But some things don't seem to make sense. Especially living out here for generations thing. Like I said, just the issue of how did his father and his grandfather have kids if they live out in the sounds throughout their entire lives alone? Something does a jive there, and I really can't figure it out. That's why I think the house is maybe a metaphorical house in it. Let's go to the woods. Nothing to fear. Except weird men and leaves. Oh, you spawned right here. In a very convenient spot, so I don't have to track you down. Alright, we're going back a bit. I think... I don't think we've seen them all. I didn't see the Chivo pop up. But we are recirculating them. Well, let's just get home. The sooner we get back, the better. My brain is starting to feel pain. There you are. Well, huh, any more brain to my damage, and I would have been in trouble. Oh, look, house, house is spawned. Don't tell me you have to, like, go down all the way with more houses spawning each section. That'd be terrifying in itself. Alright, we got a good little area in this part of the house. So we'll secure this corner. Make this our kind of base of operations. Anything else wants to spawn? Oh no. Let's go down for a sec. Upstairs. Alright. Oh shit! Ooh, you were terrifying looking. No offense. Was that supposed to be me? It... It almost looked like a young version of me. Without hair. But I don't really have much hair in the first place, so... <laughs> it makes sense. When you look at it, at first I thought it was the wood girl. But upon closer inspection, it looks kind of like my outfit. Alright, we gotta handle that thing down there. Now we're gonna handle you first. 
go back to the hell you came from. respawned. I think there's like a cap of one or two of those per house. And once you've gone through them, a new one set will spawn separate one of these rooms. That's my guess. And it seems a weeping child the first time it gave me oh, I don't want to go up there. I'm just gonna abandon that part of the house. If I go up there, I get instantly hit anyway. Just by the weeping child. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is a very bad situation. Oh shit! I saw something on the top left. Where's the handprint? Oh, it's a doppelganger! Handprint's coming this way. Cross your fingers. Keep on walking. Er. Whatever you do. I guess you're spider manning We need to get this thing open badly. There's double kangers to be everywhere. How's Annie? Oh my god! Oh no. I might have done that too late. Ow. Oh, yes, I did. Very bad. Very bad. Very bad. Very bad. How's Annie? Here, let me fix that light for you, uh, guy. There you go. Thank you. Okay, we're pinned in. Doppelgangers, handprint people. The doors are unlocked. That's a good thing. We could make a run for it. Secure this room. No, screw you. He's just hanging out. I want to wind up this room. Hey! He's just gonna hang out here, ain't he? And now, your turn. Your turn to die. Hmm. 
I'm afraid to pass by him. I don't know if he's offensive. I don't know if he'll, if he'll take my brain and replace me in this world. Ooh, our sanity bar has really taken some damage. We're in a bad spot, actually, because of that. I just hope that there's not many days left. out. Wait a moment. Hear that moment. Watch that moment. I hear something. Small cramped close room. Just wait it out. Left side's doppelganger, top side's weeping child. I've taken almost half my health bar, or sanity bar, and damage. Morning sun vanquishes the night. Oh shit. I'm coming to seek you. Did you forget to hide? Thank God. We are now playing Resettlement. It's a wish making game. This is how you need to play it. If someone manages to wake up one hour before dawn, that person should declare themselves the living in their thoughts. At sunrise, the living should stand before the closed door and say out loud, The hour is at hand. It's time to get ready to go. After these words, the door should stay closed. If it doesn't work, that person is no longer the living. Okay, the map's making no sense anymore. It just kind of goes where it pleases. Well, who's waiting outside tonight? Her. Not any more comforting. House is quite big. I'm, I'm not quite sure how this house doesn't just tip over. You actually notice the house is quite small. Like, look at the grass in comparison to the house. The house is like nothing. Oh. That's the description. The bed matches up with the one diary. Put a blanket on the bed. Yeah, I'm actually right. The, um... Our clock is getting a little bit farther every time. So the final time... That'll be it. So I estimate at least one more of these sequences. So one more night of survival, maybe? Because I imagine it's going to move another quarter. And then it'll be another quarter, so about 20%. I really don't like my health bar thing there. It looks... It looks... I mean, I'm hoping there's enough to get me through to the end, but... I really don't know. Yeah, I was right. So one more. That means the next night sequence has got to be the final one. Oh, here we go. Let's make destiny. I think we have enough fragments of reality. I'm just gonna go for it. You know. 
I could be making a mistake. Okay. Breathe. Let's do this. I can't afford to get hit at all. One good hit from one of those heavy hitters like the hands will probably put me in a point of no return. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna secure the left. I like its layout a little bit better. Being able to go up and down is better. The other one's got like a longer straight hallway. Which is harder to handle. Because if you're going down the hallway, Doors slam on you, and you got things coming from both left and right. You are in a bad position. Here I got some cubby holes to play with, which is nice. Hopefully this gives me some time. Yep, thank you. Now where is the weeping child? Okay, you're over there. Great. Good. I want you over there. So you don't camp one of my ladders. And I hit take damage every time I go up it. I want that time thing. Seems like my Sandy is still going down. Just ever so slowly. Oh, shit! We're going now. There's no time. We gotta secure it. Fuck you! Alright, now the first clo closing of a breach does no damage to you. Subsequent ones do damage. But it's usually better to close the breach than, you know, than have a ghost patrolling your entire area, so. Oh, this is gonna be an easy night. Thank the heavens! This game is especially dangerous, because the guests start it. Sooner or later, you will hear a voice saying, Who isn't ready yet? After some time, he then says, You are ready, because you are frozen. Blame yourself, for here I come. After that, they find you, no matter what you are doing, and everything begins again. This game feels impossible to win, the key is, this is a game for the brave. In reality, one hides by standing in place. As long as even one person in the house is still hiding, the game will continue. But the game has to be finished. Whoever sees it to the end is the winner. I still find that hilariously weird. It's like the god of hippies beckoning me out there. Come out to the woods and smoke some pot, man! All the cool kids are doing it. Well, I think our final trip outside will be it. Hopefully this is the good ending. Because it's a lot harder to get. In comparison to the bad one, anyway. Of course, Ice Pick Lodge always has ambiguous endings. I hope there's no Resident Evil style chase sequence in the end. Get out of your house before the nuclear bomb explodes.
tracking my lights. It's been the last one. All right. It's time we end this curse. Now what? I don't like that. What am I looking for? The girl? What the hell is that? Looks like me. Um, uh, having the ah, uh, that damn bug with the where your guy won't move. House. No, no, <laughs> no. 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 I thought it'd be easy. I thought I'd be free. A free people. This is a bad layout I didn't like from the last time. Right, it spawned the same spot. Okay, it spawned down there. Oh, I know what place I'm not going to. Sanity dwindling. Life on the edge of tomorrow. <laughs> now, one of the reasons I don't like this upper area is there's nowhere to hide. That's also a dead end. There's not really much of a choice. This house didn't get a good layout. Eh, here we go. I gotta get down there fast. Before they start spawning. Go to hell. Ah, oh, my brain. the room. Alright, we definitely know we're not going there.
Oh, bad. I'm tempted to just leave it be. It's not that bad of a spot. They'll patrol there. Things are about to get very bad here. I can see something up there already. Let's work our way down this way. Let's see if any time things spawn. Hey, we tend to see the spawn in this area. Sadly, none did. Alright, we're just gonna let him have that. I'm not gonna risk it. I think he's just gonna hit me. Who's ever take the hit or get hit here? It's really not much of a choice. I'm just gonna take the chance it might not spot me. Yeah. It's gonna break my shit now. Oh. Fun and games. Now your turn. Go seek. Please don't come down here. I'm just gonna wait out down here in the dark. Oh shit! As well, I'm home. It's not gonna go easy. It knows where you are. I know it does. Honey, I know. Don't do this. Wait it out. Hope he doesn't come down here. Just wait it out. Just wait it out for dear God. Almost there. Oh shit. No, no, no. Advanced technique. Stair hog. Jesus Christ. The morning came. In this game, you need to move time forward. And the sooner the game ends, the better it is for everyone. Is my nightmare over? I'm not gonna survive at number nine. That ain't happening. I think it's the first time I've heard music in this game in a while. Don't break my lights. I'm trying to keep this place lit up in case there's any more pages. Yeah, no more diary pages or dialogue.
What do the numbers mean, Mason? Aside from that, I believe this is the end of the game. I guess these ruins were designed as a message towards the people who support them on Kickstarter? Or something like that. It's kind of this game's credits, I guess. Interactive one, anyway. Uh, he's adjusting his eyes. Ah, I see. Well, this was a really, really cool game, actually. I'm not sure what the bad ending entails. I'm assuming it's you stay in the house. This ending, it's he's leaving the house, whether it's a literal house or he's leaving his mental house anyway and going back to the outside world. I think the weeping child is him. I think it looked a lot like a young version of him with shaved hair, or a shaved head, rather. And uh, there was some dialogue about his father when he stopped seeing him and went mad. And there is that noose, which I think implies his father killed himself. Uh, I've seen some good theories. I've seen some, one of the theories is that his father was the one who wrote the diary. And his father actually stopped seeing his son at some point in his madness. And that his son was taught the hide-and-seek game in order to hide the people who would come and take children for the project. And was told this is a game of hide-and-seek and the knocking is like an emulation of that. There are some people who think he is the writer of the diary, and this whole thing is completely bananas or whatever. I don't think that's true. I think they would have not put in those implications about his grandfather and father. His grandfather talking about something incomplete in his life, and the when you write when you run out of pages in your diary, that's when you die. And the the whole studying the world thing, like he studies the planet and the earth and whatnot. I think that might be a ruse. I think even the forest, it might not actually exist. There might be a house, like I said, or apartment building. But the actual forest might not actually exist. And the girl, or the boy, or whatever, the earth child, probably doesn't exist, but it also does. And I've said this many times before in many of my previous games I've played. It's one of those kind of it Schrodinger cat existences where it doesn't really exist, but if you acknowledge it, it kind of does. And it's clearly trying to get him to leave the house. Um, I've heard someone say that the guess and the knocking and everything is supposed to be... The developers said that it was supposed to be people intruding on his reality or something. So I said in one of my comments, actually, that the monster appearing in the horizon is probably him being paranoid about the outside world and the people within it kind of coming into his created reality while the uh when you see the girl instead it's a little more hopeful looking even though it looks completely creepy it's a lot more hopeful in comparison to a giant skeleton monster thing anyway i think that's about all i can really say about this game i'll kind of muse about it in my head a bit over time and i'll kind of refine it I'm curious to see what people say in the comments of their own interpretations. I think it's very much a game made for that reason, for people to interpret it. So, well, thank you for watching me play Knock Knock. And I'll see all you guys later. Take it easy.